happy Sunday. This is our last Sunday in lockdown. Both our restaurants are opening on Wednesday, very exciting. And today, friends and I are cooking, um, we've got six friends coming for lunch and we are going to cook braised duck leg and carrots. So, um, we're cooking duck leg and carrots, which is a dish that Fergus and I started cooking way back when we worked together at the French House Dining Room in Soho. And it's a dish that celebrates... Carrots. The carrots. We've got a mixture of some fine carrots from the co-op and some beautiful heritage carrots. We've got leeks, celery from our friend's garden, a cheeky addition of sobrezada, one duck leg for each person, or you could have half a duck leg. One duck leg. I think Fergus's appetite is shrinking as he gets older. What time? It's just here. <laughs> That's good, Fergus. We don't have to soften them up too much, just to get them to know each other, isn't it? Yeah. Duck legs are so while Fergus is preparing the carrots, I'm going to start browning the duck legs. Just a little bit of olive oil. Season. Slice the onions up. I put three onions in here to thicken the duck legs. Two onions, one leek, a blob of sabrosada. I've got about seven cloves of garlic, a slice of celery, I've washed it with some ice, two centimetres of parsley, so they are going to brown in the oven as well, which reminds me, let's turn the oven on, um, <laughs> so we do uh, about one inch, is that in one inch of garlic? And the first one I'm going to put the rubber powder in, which is a bit like a butter, but tastier. The onion, so I'm going to do a medium heat. On the back here I've got some chicken stock, which we've got going. It's just basically sealing the, the duck legs off, and there will be more browning later. No, it's not six, we've got eight duck legs. Why are you? So now we're um, going to pop the celery in and the meat and the garlic which I've just left whole. Put this in for a few moments so it all gets to know each other. Pepper. The vegetables are all nicely sauteed together. They don't have to be really soft and do they? Because they're going to all cook more with the duck eggs on top. And then they'll really take on each other's juices, don't they? Pour that into the roasting pan. It's going to be the base for the duck legs to sit on. There you go. Beautiful. I think we should do some more. I think the glass one would be lovely, darling. Thank you. So, you're wetting the duck leg. I think, I think there's something in the fridge. We want the duck legs to get browner inside, and they're going to all nestle in to the carrots and vegetables, and all their flavours are going to merge happily together in the oven. And I reckon that's going to be in there for about an hour. And that is the answer cooked really early. Yeah, duckling needs to be cooked. We've decided to have celeriac mash and roast pumpkin with the duckling today. Um, and we've got this beautiful celeriac, as Fergus is saying, one of the ugly veg, but I think it's beautiful. the most beautiful thing, isn't it? Do you enjoy celeriac, Fergus? I do. I say the mash. Cover that with water, back 
is on and um, cook before we move it. And now I'm going to roast this pumpkin, beautiful pumpkin. With the skin on, yep. I mean, this is. Kimichi, maybe? Yeah. Often we keep all the seeds and that makes a lovely stock. Pumpkins have improved in this country so much. I think it's the influence of Japanese culture, New Zealand culture, maybe? New Zealand and Japanese culture. It's all very autumnal. They might need a bigger baking tray. This one is definitely a little small. Well, cheers, folks. Um, everyone's arriving in about an hour, so let's set the table and enjoy just wine.